The Syrian government resumed airstrikes yesterday after a three-week pause. There have been more this morning. Right now, we're in an area of southern Aleppo called District 1070. It is an area that the Syrian armed forces uh, took back from the opposition fighters just last week. We are traveling with gov government minders on territory controlled by the Syrian army, but it's still very hot. As you might imagine, the front line is just beyond this neighborhood. That's why it's so empty, but it's also empty, of course, because people couldn't live in these conditions. It is a moonscape. It gives you a sense of the ferocity of the battle here, which has been shifting two steps forward, one step back, various sides, taking neighborhoods, losing them, retaking them. And this is what people are left with. What we're seeing here today are some people being allowed back into the neighborhood that they might have fled weeks, months ago because of the fighting to see if they can salvage any of their belongings. Uh, you hear the sound of, of people rummaging through tin, going up old staircases. Nothing about it looks safe or stable, um, but people say they want to see what's left. And we've actually met one, one person who is actually trying to move back in, saying she'd much rather live here in these ruins than uh, as a refugee in a tent on the streets um, in other parts of Aleppo. But most people are going the other way because the front line is just right next to this neighborhood and uh, they're not going to risk their lives by staying next to it. And it means that they don't really trust that the fighting is over, despite the assurances that are coming from the Syrian forces that they are on the verge of winning the battle for Aleppo. Margaret Evans, CBC News, District 1070, Southern Aleppo.